What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started with today's video, huge shout out to today's video sponsor, AG1 by Athletic Greens. All right guys, so let's talk about today's video sponsor, AG1 by Athletic Greens. If you're always on the go like me, this stuff is really good. I've been taking this for about a month now since they sent it to me, and let me tell you, what a game changer. My energy levels during the morning, during the day, it just keeps on steady. I was drinking four or five cups of coffee a day, and you know, at the end of the day, I'm just done, I'm tired, my energy crashes, not with this stuff. AG1 has 75 ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, probiotics, anything that you need to get your morning started off right. AG1 is a super convenient way to start your morning. All you need is one scoop out of here or one travel pack in your eight ounce glass of water or bottle of water. AG1 is vegan, paleo, and keto friendly, which is a diet that I'm trying and it really works. You don't have to worry about knocking yourself out of ketosis with this stuff. It just helps support your immune system and your energy all day long. Super convenient. All you need, a little bottle of water. Take you a sip, get you some room for your AG1. Pour it on in there and shake it on up. Super simple and easy way to get your digestive system supported, your immune system supported, and your energy levels just right for the day. Athletic Greens is going to give my community one year free of immune supporting vitamin D droplets and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So head on over to athleticgreens.com slash Dr. Tunamall to get started today. So last video, I told you guys we picked up a new sponsor. Well, we are here to pick up some products. We are at Ground Up Restoration. They're just getting moved in. They came down from Connecticut into Florida uh, and they want to sponsor us roofing quarters for the new moonshine, kind of bring everything together. So they're going to show us around a little bit and uh, check out the facility and see what they got. What's going on? Jack. How are we doing? Jack, Nate, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nate. So you're going to show us around this giant facility yeah, you guys got here? Uh, obviously, welcome. Welcome to Ground Up Motors uh, South, the new facility down here. Um, just opened up about six months ago, just getting the place set up. So obviously, come check it out. This place is massive. It's about 60,000 square feet, um, probably close to double the size of our old facility, so we're always trying to add new car lines, bring in more SKUs, bring in more parts, and uh, obviously just throw the throw the ground up motor's yeah. name. That's the goal down here. Give us a rundown um, of what you guys do, pretty much. So our, our main focus is GM, uh, classic cars, Camaro, Chevelle, Nova. Um, that's kind of been our wheelhouse since we started about 30 years ago. Um, I mean, we sell everything from uh, screw kit all the way to your fenders, hoods, full floors, everything everything like that so i mean we ship uh probably 1800 packages out here a day along with truck freights probably 10 to 15 a week so nice yeah i know i've ordered some stuff from you guys before just little stuff here and there when we were putting the car together initially and oh, awesome. definitely wanted to get with you guys because you guys pretty much have the market corner for a lot of this yeah, stuff I mean, and the car you're building that's, yeah. that's right up our alley um we actually have a couple Chevelles back here. Oh, nice. That's, that's obviously the reason we do this. We love cars. Yep. We love we love the classic cars um, and some of the newer cars as well. <laughs> uh, we like to keep it American, so that's that's all you'll see in our fleet back here. This is actually just if you, if you surprisingly this is just a fraction of our fleet, but uh, <laughs> obviously we're in a transition period. But yeah, I mean this is this is why we do it. Uh, this is kind of our research development area. Um, always testing parts, testing new product. We actually have a new product line that we're working on called Addictive Flow. Um, it's a little more resto mod, uh, pro touring. Uh, right now we're, we have spoilers. They're uh, plasti dipped, injection molded, injection molded, carbon carbon dipped or or regular black. Um, very easily installed and adds a, a, a pretty nice look to your first or second gen Camaro. And we've also introduced them to the 70 to 72 Chevelle and El Camino, um, in addition to the 68 to 74 Novas. So that's kind of just a little side project we're working on. We're always trying to 
push the envelope and, and see what else we can do in the market and, and obviously push towards that next generation. Uh, me and my brother kind of came into the fold uh, more recently. My father obviously started 30 years ago, but we're trying to keep it going and, and bring that younger generation into the, the hype of these classic cars. Yeah, that are different, so cool. different style of marketing um, these days yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. So obviously we're doing anything we can to, uh, to keep the, the excitement for sure excitement going but um yeah let's yeah, see some of these here, cars right here you got a 71 camaro um this is honestly one of my favorites in the fleet and it actually does have some of our addictive flow on it this is the wing you're talking about so that is a rear that is one of the addictive flow rears uh, this one does have the carbon fiber front spoiler and i think it actually looks pretty badass on this uh just this whole setup the black on black oh yeah that looks, looks really good. nice so yeah, just stuff like that. We're always trying to uh, see what else, what other markets we can target. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Obviously, we got oh, some of the newer. The boss came to see us. The newer cars. <laughs> this is actually his car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he he loves this car. He'll he'll hop in it anytime I go for a ride. But uh, very nice. So yeah, obviously. We got some of the newer cars as well. Um, this is actually a 21 Challenger. This cars um, drive really nice. Yeah, it is. It is a really nice car. Uh, what else you got in here, boss? Red car. Original 68. So this one's been in the fleet for, I guess, since the start. Um, hey, that's what my front end would look like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was no front end on mine when I got it, so I had no idea what pieces I was missing. Yeah. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to order a fiberglass and nose. Of, of having yeah. the fleet like this, you can always, yeah. hey, what, what actually, what are they looking for? And that's, that's, that's how I found you guys. Yeah. That's how I found you guys to begin with. I'm like, yeah. dude, let me just look around and see what I can find, and I found you guys. So, so. We're, always, we're always testing fitment, trying to source the best product, making sure if it, if it works. If we're not going to put it in our car, we're not going to sell it to you. That's yeah. kind of our mentality. Um, so you've had this car, this was this is my high school car. Your high school yeah, car, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, so that's a long time. I grew up, <laughs> I grew up in this car. That's right? awesome. <laughs> Sitting in the back seat. Um, what else we got around here? I know you got... Uh, we got uh, 70 LS6. This is a number matching. Um, this one with motor train. I'm not numbers. sure what, what kind of look you're going for on yours. Uh, yeah. Fast. Just yeah. It's going to look uh, fast. Kind of a little similar to... Uh, Very nice. It's a very desirable car. Yeah, and then you have its, its brother. So this is the Volvo 70 LS6. Sheesh. Guys are messing me up here. Yeah, that's our that's our ranch around here. Nice <laughs> boy. Polishing a bumper. Oh, yeah. um, this is a 69. <laughs> Yanko. Really? Yeah. Well, um, does this have one of your spoilers on it also? I think it does yeah. have the Pro Touring on there as well. Yeah, it has the Pro Touring. So that, that is our addictive flow. This car's been around a while. That car's been around yeah, 20, 22 years. Of I don't know That's awesome. Oh, yeah. uh, I think we got a we got a Nova in the back there too. The, the we, we got a few Nova fans around. I see a Mustang. What, what's what's oh, yeah. with the Mustang? This is, uh, <laughs> this is one of his more recent purchases. <laughs> I thought there were Chevy guys around here. <laughs> that one stays covered now. <laughs> no, we love the. Uh, we're American guys. So there's a 70 Nova original L78 car with the original motor and tranny. This one's got one of your spoilers on it also? This one has the spoiler on it. Yeah, we, we've been uh, actually we've using them just, a lot of just for yeah. test fitting and, and, and uh, sure development on it. I mean, 
I think they look pretty good. They do look good. I I had was looking for my car before and I couldn't find anything. Yeah. So the sixty nines I know Glass Tech I think was the only one that made one and they were like forever out, so Yeah, that was my brother. He he yeah. sourced the whole deal and, and he did a, a fantastic job. Yeah, they look really um, good. From the website up, it's it's pretty awesome. This car is mint. Yeah, this car this car is real nice. I like the color too. Yeah, it's a little funky with the tan interior. 396. Four speed car? Yeah. Nice. That's cool. And we got a K5 Blazer over there. K5, K5 with an LS motor. And there you that. go. Nice speaking my language. Been the Carburetor, oh man. <laughs> oh man. I like the interior. So this one was down in the keys actually and it got uh, felt it. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that salt water is rough yeah, on stuff. Dude, yeah, I got beat up pretty bad. <laughs> You guys literally have everything from floor pans to yeah, tail lights I mean, to screws for tail lights. Exactly. I mean, yeah. Anything that anybody needs when they're anything restoring need, something. Floor panel plugs. I mean, yeah, we got pretty much everything. Um, yeah. That's this is kind of this is um, where uh, everything gets out of here. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, if you guys need anything, you're restoring any. GM old classic muscle car check out ss396.com they have everything that you could possibly need so we're gonna go check out the roof panel uh, quarters are up north still so we'll check those out later but we're gonna check out the roof panel and uh, yeah Handle so this is the new roof skin to replace that rusty holy roof that we cut off and then the quarters will replace all the other stuff also but this was here so we figured we'd come out check the place out and show you guys around their place and pick up some parts so we're gonna get this thing loaded up all right so we're gonna get this thing loaded up you got some swag for yeah, us i got uh, a couple hats for you guys nice. some uh chevelle and camaro hats very cool our hot cars there and obviously a bunch of chevelle catalogs if you don't need nice. anything for the car cool this is it this yeah. is all we got awesome yeah we are going to be doing a nova here soon too all right. so yeah, yeah. nova I'll wagon i'll slide some of those in there as well cool so. awesome i appreciate it brother yeah. awesome thanks for the hookup you. thanks for uh, stopping by yeah and checking us out. for sure if you guys need anything if you're restoring any class car ss396.com go check them out all right guys we are at the shop got a surprise delivery today i didn't know things were coming today but all of our fiberglass came in super excited holy crap that is a big 
box. <laughs> what you doing, bud? Oh, hey. What's up, man? Woo, there it is. Finally. It's been like three or four months we've been waiting for this stuff. Alright. I'm going to get this stuff unboxed. I'm super excited. Okay, first piece, Bethlehem. That got a little messed up there during the shipping. Really? Yeah. And that's the way they package it, you can't see. Yeah. Like I looked at everything. Well, that was on the inside. That's what I'm saying. I looked at everything. I couldn't see nothing. I don't really think it matters, though. We, no, we, yeah, I mean, we have a hood. Yeah, we have a hood. With the Sunoco style. I like it. We got a whole front end now. We never had a whole front end. We only had fenders that like did one of these. Good shimmy shapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got a rear bumper. Just a whole lot lighter. A little bit lighter, huh? Just a, just a little bit. You can go license plate right here. Yeah. Run out of room. I forgot how much stuff went with it. This is the this is the whole this makes this whole thing worth it right here, so just stand by. Yeah. That goes on the bottom. That's our chin splitter. We're going to have to set this in the car, and you guys will be able to see. Sheesh, those are white. Oh my gosh. They're full of air, too, you know. Makes them lighter. <laughs> A little bit lighter. All right, we're gonna uh, position all this stuff over there. And give you guys a better look. Bro. That looks freaking sick. <laughs> you gotta put the hood on. That is exciting. Dude, this thing is gonna look so sick. Come on, come see it. All right, now just throw the sticks and then attach it. Why do you think this thing is convertible, bro? Yeah. I can dig it. Yeah, man. I need to root down. 100%. All right, guys, the front end looks sick. I'm super pumped. I've been waiting to do this for a long, long time, and it looks sick. So a little bit of body work, make everything happy, but we still have some cage work we still have to do. Well, not we, TJ, because I don't do cage stuff, but he's killing it. Funny car cage is done. It is fully welded. It's got the roof braces in there. Uh, he's just got to do some gusseting up here and in the corners of the cage and then we're gonna take it, put it on the chassis table so that we can do the rear suspension stuff and get all that situated and then do a couple things under the car so that it can meet the chassis cert. So once that stuff's done, then we can work on getting the quarters done. The roof is here, as you guys saw, and quarters should be here. They shipped, right? Said they shipped? Yeah. Yeah, so quarters should be here any day now. And then we can start assembling this thing. Super pumped when you get this thing back out. Go racing. I'm itching. And uh, I just can't wait to see this thing sitting on the ground. It's going to look super sick. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned. And we'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully, it's not as long this time. <laughs>